Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Anchor Star Wealth Market Update. I'm your host, Allison Anchor Star, and today we'll be talking about the concept of the max pain point, the 35 million person lockdown in China, and why Amazon stock sold off yesterday. But before we begin, as a reminder, this is a financial education presentation should not be construed as personal financial advice. Full disclaimer information is available at anchorstarwealth.com. Good morning, Steve. The market continued to sell off yesterday. You also refer to the concept of the max pain point in times like this. What do you mean by that? Well, good morning, Allison, and thank you for that intro. So yesterday was a a pretty big sell-off, as most of you uh, experience if you're watching the market all day. And, you know, it just never gave up. It just continued selling off through the day. And it made you wonder, you know, is this ever going to stop? I had some people reaching out to me yesterday, which I don't often hear from several different folks. So I can tell when the volume picks up that it's really starting to wear on people. And unlike if you remember back to March 2020 or even December of 2018, both those sell-offs were fair, obviously fairly quick. Certainly March 2020 was because we we're hitting circle breakers during the day at 7% off, things like that. Um, but even December 2018, we were going through the last you know significant rate hike period. Um, it was you know pretty you know, pretty much a straight down. This has been now, gosh, you know, we're at the Ides of March. Uh, you know, March Madness is about to kick off and it has been really just a house of pain uh, in the market for two and a half months. So 75 calendar days, uh, pretty much, you know, selling off with a few green days and, in, in, you know, sprinkled in. So when I talk about the max pain point, and I'll bring up the, uh, the you know, the NASDAQ here because we're kind of at that point in the NASDAQ where you see, you know, this steady sell-off, here's the beginning of the year, and then boom, pretty much uh, straight down. Year-to-date change, you can see it down here at the bottom, uh, 19.47, so bear market, if you will, in in tech stocks. And, you know, furthermore, if you have a high beta tech stock, which some of the very good ones are, you are down more than 20%. Uh, and some of those that have sold, you know, cut in half, when you think of like, Roblox, Unity Software, uh, several names out there have just really been hit hard. So when I talk about the concept of max pain point, and it's different for everybody, but you can start to tell uh, when the market's going to bottom and turn higher, when you start seeing people rolling over and going to cash, and I can't take it anymore. So everybody's pain point's different. Uh, a lot of people use advisors because they don't want to have to deal with their own max pain point, um, where they, you know, they can call their advisor and the advisor, you know, does the talk me down off the ledge speech because I'm considering going to cash with everything. So certainly, you know, if you hit your max pain point and you have to sell because you're depressed or suicidal, then sell and, and, you know, get out. But for the most part, you've seen every dip that's happened in the market in history eventually recover and go back higher. So you kind of have to have faith. And if you think of the Ted Lasso, you know, hit the believe sign uh, above the office there and, you know, get back to it, go about your life. Um, If you do have extra cash that's coming into the market, now's the time to get that extra cash rolling, right? You're looking at a 20% sale on stocks. And a lot of people are like, Steve, I just hate when you say that because I just lost 20% or more in my portfolio. It's like, well, if you have, you know, you know, you can't. You can't sit there and you know, be happy about the year over years of 20 plus percent gains and then be unhappy because the tech stocks got hit, right? It's a temporary thing. It, it, you know, even in 2000, the tech crash uh, came screaming back over time. So, you know, the, the max pain point is different for everybody, but I think we are close to uh, a bottom and, you know, futures are up today. That's one day. That's not saying uh, much, but I do think, you know, if we hit few, nice green day today, stop the bleeding, you have the Federal Reserve raises a quarter point tomorrow, which is certainty in the market. And then any positive news out of the Russia Ukraine situation, I think that'll mark the bottom, you know, kind of the three step checklist for the bottom and uh, move higher uh, from there. So, in conclusion, uh, hang in there. You know, if you hit your max pain point, try to hold on a little bit more, knowing that it's near the bottom. Um, but that's, uh, that's, what, that's why I keep talking about that. Next, China has 35 million people in lockdown due to a new strain of COVID. Do you think this new strain will affect the U.S. and U.S. markets? Well, China's response to COVID has kind of always been a little bit different from the U.S. You know, in 2020, the U.S. shut down the economy intentionally, sent out some stimmy checks, uh, put, in, put some other things in place to kind of help us get through it, and we got through it. 
Um, you could argue all day long the politics behind it or whether it caused inflation or it didn't. It doesn't really matter. That's history. And we're dealing with things going forward. However, I will tell you that uh, from reading, so if you haven't read any of the China COVID uh, articles, they're taking a extremely severe, uh, severe, a, an aggressive stance against COVID. You know, it's going to cause supply chain problems for sure for everybody that's got, you know, stuff coming out of China. Um, let's see the strict zero COVID policy, aggressive to new cases includes lockdowns of millions of people. You know, Allison says 35 million. I saw, you know, in here did 54 million as I was skimming this article. It's like, did it go up 19 million, you know, in the past like 10 minutes since we were just talking uh, about, you know, the questions for the day. Um, but really they're locking people down inside, <clears throat> inside their provinces and trying to beat this thing. So if there's new variant out there, you know, maybe they keep it from spreading outside of China, but certainly if it, if it hits the U.S., it's going to going to cause some issues. So so is it am I worried about us shutting about the U.S. shutting down their economy? No, I think we aren't going to do that again. We will power through, let people make their own choices uh, as far as, you know, whether they go out or whether your business remains open, et cetera. Uh, however, I do think it, it it does not help the supply chain problem uh, that has been a real issue out there, which leads to inflation, right? Because stuff's going up uh, because it's harder and harder to get. So in, in some, I think uh, it's good news that China is taking a strict policy, but unfortunately, it's going to be bad news for uh, supply chains and inflation over here in the U.S. Last, Amazon sold off yesterday for no apparent reason. Can you explain why? Well, uh, Amazon's one of those fantastic names out there. And uh, when you see it, you know, they announced the 21, 20 for one split not too long ago. We don't know when the split's going to be. Um, but the, you know, pull up a three month chart here. Well, I should go to one year. It's a little more pronounced there. So, uh, you know, so you see it was down two and a half percent yesterday. They announced, uh, you know, was it last week or so, the 20 for one split. And we talked about that in one of our shows. They also have a $10 billion buyback authorized. So I would imagine they'd be hopping in and buying here. I would if I were on their board. Um, but, you know, why does a name like Amazon sell off 2.5%, even though it just switched unchanged there, it wasn't, it was 2.5% um, yesterday. Um, it's because all the tech names are tied together. There are so many technology ETFs that, you know, we, we talk about often buying the dip which is what happens when a lot of aggressive investors put their money in every time the market sells off a little bit. There's also sell the rip, which, you know, we've had kind of a rip in the market. We saw a little bit of, uh, you know, a few days ago, uh, we saw it go up. So anytime the market goes up, people are selling that. So people are looking to sell out of tech now. Uh, that's part of that max pain point. Now, you know, they're hitting it and they're dumping, you know, perfectly good funds like the XLK, which has a ton of technology in it. And Amazon's one of the top 10 holdings. Right. So that's why for no reason other than other people hitting their max pain point, your holdings can be affected. So the good news is, you know, it's temporary. Amazon's one of those stocks that's going to come screaming back, just like Apple or Google or Microsoft, any of the other big, uh, big tech names out there. So so overall, not worried about Amazon. If anything, if you don't have enough, now's the time to buy more. Thank you, everyone, for your questions. Please submit your questions as a comment through social media or directly to our email at VIP services at anchorstarwealth.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get daily updates. That's all we have for today's show. I'm Allison Anchorstar, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.